Good morning, hello, it's Monday, it's nine o'clock. I'm Victoria Darbyshire, and welcome to our programme. Our exclusive story today, Hampshire police become the first force in the UK to hand out leaflets like this to suspected child sex offenders. Warning them, Hampshire police say the notices are only handed out once an investigation is done and when there's not enough evidence to charge. One police and crime commissioner tells us the leaflets won't protect a soul. You can watch our exclusive film at quarter past nine. Also in the... And Downing Street says the UK can make progress in the Brexit negotiations this week, even though last minute unscheduled talks yesterday broke down after an hour. Labour's man on Brexit says the government's got to be clearer. Hello, good morning, welcome to the programme. We're live until 11 this morning. Uh, definitely want to hear what you think about these notices, these leaflets being handed out by Hampshire police. Could they work? Uh, being handed out to people that the police believe, quote, may have been involved in abusive sexual behaviour towards children. What if you were given one? Is it lazy policing, as one defence lawyer says? Uh, do get in touch on all the stories in the news today. Use the hashtag Victoria Live. If you're emailing and happy for us to contact you, then please include your phone number in your message. If you text, you'll be charged at the standard network rate. Our top story today and the breaking news, Kensington Palace has announced that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan are expecting a baby, which is due in spring next year. Senior members of the royal family were informed at the wedding before that. It's the start of a crucial week for Brexit negotiations with Theresa May set to face her cabinet and European leaders after a day of dramatic but disappointing negotiations yesterday. The government insists the UK can still make progress in the divorce talks, despite serious unresolved issues, including the Irish border. Sources say there will be no further talks between the UK and EU negotiators before the Prime Minister attends a summit of EU leaders in Brussels on Wednesday. Our political guru, Norman Smith, is at Westminster. What is this week's sticking point? It's a... Uh, thank you, Joanna. I'm pleased for that bear cub. Um, right, thank you for your messages about these notices that uh, we've discovered Hampshire Police are handing out to people that they suspect uh, may commit abusive sexual behaviour towards children. Uh, JD on Twitter, sorry, Phil on Twitter says, whether these leaflets can make a difference is an open question, but there are offenders, or those yet to offend, who want help to prevent future offending. The use of warnings with information about organisations such as Stop It Now UK may provide some assistance. JD on Twitter says basically they're sending a kind reminder to be careful what they're doing or they might get caught. And EMU 1958 says if the police haven't got enough evidence, at least this lets them know that they're being watched or that they are known about. What is wrong with that? It's better than nothing. We'll bring you our exclusive film in just a few minutes after the sport. Ollie's at the BBC Sports Centre. Uh, Ollie, is Alex McLeish going to lose his job as Scotland manager? Well, uh, he says he's going to be brave. He says he has to be resilient. More from Ollie throughout the morning. Right, let's talk about the breaking news from Kensington Palace that the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant. Uh, our royal correspondent, Johnny Diamond, is in Sydney, where Harry and Meghan are on uh, their first royal tour. Good morning. Welcome to the programme. It's now 9.22. Thank you for joining us. People suspected of being at risk of committing child sexual abuse are being given leaflets by one UK police force warning them to change their behaviour. They're called C5 notices. Uh, here's one of them. And they say, your sexual behaviour has come to the attention of Hampshire Constabulary. We believe you may have been involved in abusive sexual behaviour towards children. We're serving you this notice so that you have the opportunity to think about your behaviour and to change it. Is this the future of tackling the growing threat of child sexual exploitation? Or as some critics have suggested, a step too far when it comes to people who haven't actually broken any law? One, st one defence lawyer has called it lazy policing. One police and crime commissioner tells us the leaflets won't protect a soul. Rob Powell has this exclusive report. Well, the Home Office told us child sexual exploitation is a terrible crime and should be treated as such. Alongside a tough law enforcement response to bring offenders to justice, it's crucial to prevent offending in the first place in order to better protect potential child victims. The Home Office has made £2.6 million worth of funding available to support the development of preventative schemes to complement existing statutory approaches. 
And if you have been affected by some of the issues raised in that film, do call our dedicated BBC Action Line on 0800 077 077. Thank you for your messages. As you were watching it, uh, this emailer wishes to remain anonymous. My daughter was groomed by an older girl at age 13 and was sexually abused by a 23-year-old man. The police have questioned him and now there is no further action, even though uh, uh, my daughter was given drugs and alcohol. Uh, the other girl would not corroborate my daughter's story as she protected the abusers. There were three men in the house on that particular night. We've received no help from social care. The Sexual Violence in Counselling Service has a four to six month waiting list, but the giving of leaflets is pathetic. Here are some more messages. Uh, North Utsire says, I hope you will highlight reductions in police numbers and resources that contribute to this. Cuts have consequences. If Theresa May thinks lower police numbers don't increase crime, she should prove it by reducing those who protect her party's MPs by the same 20% as the rest of us. By the way, Hampshire Police and those around this scheme say it's nothing to do with uh, budget cuts. Valiant Boy says, why only give these out to potential sex offenders? What about potential burglars, drug dealers, gang members, drink drivers, violent offenders? Society needs to stop separating out sex crime as worse and worthy of more attention than all the others. And uh, one more for now, this is I.I. Hampshire Police just proving what we already know. In 2018 in Britain, you are guilty until proven innocent. Thank you for those. We're going to talk about it, talk about it more later in the second hour of the programme. If you've got pertinent experience, do get in touch. And perhaps if you want to take part, even anonymously, in the programme, do put your phone number in your email. Thank you. The Irish border issue is still to be resolved, just two days before a crucial Brexit summit. This morning, Labour's shadow Brexit secretary, Keir Starmer, told us the government need to publish its plan for the Irish backstop, which is the backup plan, which attempts to avoid a hard border with Northern Ireland in the event of a no-deal Brexit. Thank you very much, Simon. Hello, it's just after 10 o'clock. I'm Victoria Derbyshire. Welcome to our programme. Our exclusive story today, Hampshire Police become the first force in the UK to hand out leaflets like this to suspected child sex offenders, warning them to change their behaviour. Hampshire Police say the notices are only handed out once an investigation is done and when there's not enough evidence to charge someone. One police and crime commissioner tells us the leaflets won't protect a soul. Also, the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant. Meghan and Harry's baby is due in spring next year. Downing Street says the UK can make progress in the negotiations this week on Brexit, but with crucial talks only two days away, the Labour Party says the government's got to be clearer. Right, uh, thank you for your messages uh, to do with our top story today that we're bringing you. Uh, these notices that are being given out to people suspected of potentially committing child sexual abuse. Uh, by Hampshire Police when they've done an investigation, yet there isn't, there isn't enough evidence to prosecute. Sorry says, any form of constructive early intervention, anything to save the years of trauma and damage caused to abuse children should be welcome. On email, this viewer says, we would rightly be outraged if an individual were prosecuted for speeding, for example, if no signs were present to indicate the legal limit. Householders are offered advice on how to make their homes less vulnerable to burglars. It makes absolute sense to advise potential offenders of where the law stands and to offer help in avoiding further police action. Do keep those coming in, particularly if you have pertinent experience. Use the hashtag Victoria Live. If you're emailing, it's victoria at bbc.co.uk and there's Facebook and you can text as well. Right, the sport, Ollie's back. BBC Newsroom Live is next. Have a good day. Back tomorrow at nine.